As someone who grew up playing Halo CE LAN parties at my house almost every weekend, then playing Combat Evolved Anniversary at release and countless hours playing MCC version of CE when it came out on PC, I've played these maps a few hundred times. So my mod has decided to challenge me of all people of my Halo CE multiplayer knowledge. And the challenge is simple. Can I guess the map? Seems easy enough, right? Well, the twist to this challenge is not only do I have to guess the map, I have to find the exact angle of each screenshot. So if I can't find that specific bush or rock or doorway or teleporter, no points are earned. There are going to be four tiers of difficulty starting at easy and scaling up to impossible. And with each correct guess, I earn points and each hint that I need, I lose points. And those points equating to four tiers of expertise with 72 being all perfect answers, I have domain level of knowledge when it comes to CE. 54 points put me at Master Chief level, 36 points puts me at Chips Double, meaning I need some work for sure, and 18 points, I'm at Master Cheeks level, because if I score that low, I deserve to be associated with the Halo TV show. But that's not happening. Hopefully. It looks like my mod left me some messages as well saying, you think you have what it takes to find these places on these maps? We'll start off real simple. So we're starting off with easy mode. Each perfect answer, three points, each hint is minus one. Okay, and the first map we're gonna be looking at is this image right here. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's a bush on blood gulch, maybe? You can see there's a lot of dirt around it and it kind of blends into some grassy patch in the back behind it, which looks like something that we'd see on blood gulch. Not gonna lie though, guys, like starting off with just that image as the first one on easy mode, I'm kind of nervous about what's gonna happen moving forward. Also, if you guys like these type of videos, make sure to tap like, helps out a ton, it lets me know you wanna see some more content like this and subscribe if you wanna see some more videos like this, you know, leave a comment down below if you guys wanna see me do like Halo 2, Halo 3, all the other Halos and maybe some other games as well. So it looks like it's kind of in a shady spot, kind of in a downward angle. Angle. Oh, is this it over here? Is this, the, is this it right here? It's awfully close, but I don't think this is the bush. Just because of how like the leaves are angled from here, it, it's different. But the ground geometry looks so similar. I mean, I'm locking in my answer as Blood Gulch, because that's Blood Gulch right there. I just can't seem to find that exact bush. Okay, yeah, the answer is Blood Gulch, but look at that. There's like a discrepancy. If there are discrepancies like that within this game, uh, things just got a lot more difficult. Okay. Okay, let's check out image number two. Oh yeah, that's easy. That's definitely chill out. But let's see if we can find it in the actual map itself here. I think that's in like the shotgun spawn room. So if you go down this direction. No, no, it's not. Okay, I'm thinking some, somewhere else then. It's definitely on the ground floor. You can see like the mist in the ground and stuff like that. Okay, I think I found it right here. That's definitely it right there. Okay. That's another three points on the board. Okay, map number three, the last one, easy difficulty. Okay, that's definitely Sidewinder. Let's still see if we can find it though. I can tell by the color palette and the textures, like that's definitely Sidewinder, but I'm not quite sure where exactly that is. It's definitely a shaded area, mostly over here towards the, uh, I think the blue side of the base, or it could be more towards the red side of the base. Now the hard part is really actually finding on such a large map, especially with no sprint. Like you move pretty slow on this map because I do have to find the object to actually have this count. I'm wondering if this might be one of those visual discrepancies hitting again, but like I just can't find the exact rock and shading because you can see like there's a shaded background, but so you would think it'd be somewhere over here. I wonder if just like there's some visual differences. Like I literally just I've scanned through this map multiple times over. I just cannot find the rock that I need that has like the same type of texturing, the lighting on it. I might have to go for like a larger picture hint. Cause even though I got the map right, I definitely have to look in. So let's check out the image of this right here. Oh my gosh, I was right next to it the entire time. It's this boulder rock right here. I was looking at it the entire time. I mean, I only lost one point in that situation. So even though I did have to use a hint, we are no longer domain level of knowledge when it comes to the maps, but we could still be the chief. All right, we've entered into medium difficulty, meaning the points have doubled, so I can earn six points for the correct answer, but minus two per hint. Okay, we'll check out the first image for medium difficulty. That's our first forerunner image. This is a tricky one to find because I can't really think off the top of my head where this is, but maybe we could look at like one of the map thumbnails to kind of get a better idea of like the color palace that we're looking at here it's definitely a forerunner map it could be rat race which you know rat race is incredibly popular right 
and that would be a, like a medium tier map to find something. I don't think it's a wizard. It's a little too brown, and I can't really think of any geometry that has that. Longest, definitely not that one. Now, if this is like a PC only map that I put it into the MCC, then we're getting a little bit tricky for me to remember them. But let's just jump in the rat race. I'm feeling this might be it. Let's see where it might be. Oh, wait. Oh, that's the symbol right there. That's the exact same symbol, but there are grenade spawns right there. And clearly there are no grenades, so it might be like on the opposite side. It's this light fixture right here on Rat Race. Yes, it is. It is that light fixture at Rat Race. Okay. The lack of grenades really threw me out, but I trusted my abilities. All right, give me map number two. What are we looking at here? It's definitely a covenant map. I think this might be that teleporter on damnation that takes you up to where the sniper rifle spawns. I'm pretty sure this is going to be it, right? Right over here. Yeah, comparing the images, this has got to be it. I'm locking in with this door specifically. Oh yeah, we got it. That was an easy one. Yeah, I want you to angle it kind of like right about here, right? Yep, that's definitely it. All right, map three on medium difficulty. What are we looking at here? That's a little tricky. Yeah. Man, that's a tough one to really figure out. That, my thought instantly goes to Battle Creek. Oh, you know what? I think it actually might be longest. You have to jump up to grab the camera. You jump over get the shotgun. I believe there's that light bar kind of right there. Let's go check out longest. Okay, there are a lot of light bars on this map, but which one is it exactly? It looks a little smaller and I think it's elevated. So I think it might be like up here. Did I just find it? I think it's this one right here. I think it's this light bar right here, right next to the camo. The color tone seemed to match, but let's just check the other side just in case because it is a symmetrical map. The color tone is also very similar. Is it going to be the OS side or is it going to be the camo side? I'm thinking camo side because it looks a little more blue. Okay, I'm locking in with this as my final answer. Camo side, the light bar right next to the camo. Is this going to be the actual spot? Let's reveal it. Did you see that red tint in the back? Oh no. <gasps> Was it the OS side? Actually, you do see in the back in the image, right? There is that red symbol. So you're looking into the red base. Yeah, you can see if you're looking towards the red base, you can see the symbol in the back right there there. Oh man, that's a loss of a good amount of points. Wee -woo, wee -woo. Okay, we're going in the hard mode, meaning a perfect answer is worth nine points each hint minus three. And our mod has left us a message saying, oh wow, I didn't think you'd get this far. Well, time to hurt your brain a bit. Challenge accepted. All right, what's the first image here? Ooh, that's a chat. That's kind of tricky in that one. It's definitely a forerunner structure for sure. So I'm curious which forerunner map are we looking at here? I want to say it's Battle Creek, like maybe on the blue side, but we have to check it out. Because this is a symmetrical map. If you see it on the red side, it'll definitely be on the blue side. But I think it's like the top half of the blue base. Oh, maybe not. I remember this half being way darker. Let's try and cover all my bases. I don't think it's Battle Creek, but I just need to make sure I look through every section to kind of make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, yeah, it's definitely not Battle Creek. It, maybe yeah. Hang'em High? Because you can see in the background of the image, there's a bit of a brown coloring to it, which Hang'em High has a bit of a brown tint to it, but it's Forerunner theme. So, okay, we're kind of looking around here. Oh, could it be like... Well, you see, like the Forerunner lights, man, it just throws you off because you reuse a lot of those textures. Again, you can see the same type of texture right here along the walkway, but that's not it. And you can see it's a type of a vertical structure, but I don't actually, now I'm starting to second guess myself. I don't think this is a uh, Hang'em High. Okay, I need a hint. What, like, I gotta know. It's a written hint saying this map is often referred to as prison bitch in the game's code. Oh, does that make it prisoner? Unless referring to it as prison bitch was just like a complete opposite angle kind of thing to just throw me off my game. Oh, I think we found it. Yep, it's right there. That's definitely it. Yeah, I'm locking this in as my answer. Let's look at the final image here. Okay, it's not the same angle, but it's the same light structure on Prisoner. Okay, we got it. All right, let's see the image for map number two. Ooh, that's definitely boarding action, but we gotta find that somewhere. Yeah, where exactly on boarding action? I'm not sure. I mean, this map has always been such a cluster of a maze having to utilize these teleports to kind of move around by I think it's like upper level, kind of like in a corner or something like that. And this map was just like the quintessential like 1v1 sniper map we always played back in the day. If I remember correctly, even competitive CE used this map as like tiebreakers. Okay, I found a similar one, but this is yellow. We need to find the red ones. So I think we're getting hotter. Okay, this is a red one, but I don't think that's the exact red one that we're looking at. Maybe there is only one red one, but let me yeah, I keep looking just to make sure because you see like there's a yellow caution tape looking thing on the ground and that's not here it's this is the only red one i see but it kind of fits the geometry and the ang camera angle of this blue one so i wonder if there's like a discrepancy oh my gosh i think i found it 
You see the red one right there? That's the one I've been looking at, but there's another one over there. And how the heck did I get over there? Okay, if I think I climb up this ladder, made through the maze of this map, I think this is going to be a Yeah, we got the caution tape right there. You got the background angle right there as well. Yep, yeah, this is definitely it. Oh, okay. Yeah, we. I think we just saw that earlier. That's definitely Battle Creek. But where exactly on Battle Creek? I think we saw it on the floor, like over here. This type of image, right? Okay, that floor pattern doesn't really seem to line up with that one. What, this one over here? Uh, no, the floor pattern's different on this one. Let's check over on the red base. If it's not in the red base, then it's definitely not going to be Battle Creek. Bungie devs reused that symbol all over the place, especially for Forerunner maps, just because of how maze-like a lot of the maps could be, and they're kind of used for more just directional purposes, but yeah, these aren't it either. So my guess is then it would have to be like hang them high. It's gonna be a little tricky to find because that texture is so used all over these maps. It might be over in that room where the shotgun spawns or maybe up in one of this building right here. You see, there's that symbol again, but the floor pattern doesn't match. Okay, it's not in the shotgun spawn hall. Are there some symbols over here? Could it be one of these? No, it does look rather shaded in the image as well so i'm thinking maybe one up here on the catwalks or something nope that's not it either oh wait i think we're getting warmer here this is looking kind of close do i lock in with this as my answer i think this is it you can see on the right side as well with the image that there's a geometry that angles up it lines up with the circle and the other floor pattern right there so i think we gotta lock in oh wait now look at the right side of that image though there's a little space with that geometry this has no space with it on the left side of this image so i don't think this is it let's check out the red base just to make sure okay kind of like what we pointed out earlier there's that symbol clearly that's not that exact symbol uh let's check out see if there's anything else on the red base if not i'm gonna lock in with that previous one and just line it up oh my god now looking at this i just realized that the the decal isn't actually on the texture itself it kind of moves depending on the angle you can see I move more to the right how it overlays on the coloring right there but if i move more to the left of it there's a space now that you see so it was a perspective difference oh my gosh i didn't know that about this map that's hilarious so yeah locking this final answer and we are correct it is that directional arrow at that spot on the blue base on hang em high told you i was a master now the ultimate challenge impossible difficulty and we do have a message from our mod saying what you made it through the hard mode that's impossible you won't make it through the last one with your sanity intact. Bring it on. So I'm currently sitting at 44 points in this game. So I need to find the item in the impossible difficulty to make sure I get up into the Master Chief level score. Oh, I'm nervous. What's the image? Let me, let's go see, where, where is it? Oh my God, it's a health pack in a shady spot. Like it's like a, a concrete wall of something. Oh, jeez. So just by using the process of elimination, we have Battle Creek, Derelict, Chiron Teal 34, which would be a complete troll, Wizard, and then we also have the PC maps of Death Island, Danger Canyon, Infinity, Timberland, Icefields, and how do you pronounce that one again? I feel like there has to be a teleporter because it has a bit of a green hue to the left side here. And this looks like some kind of like man-made UNSC structure. I feel like this would be Chiron Teal 34 just because it's a total troll map. Oh, and look at the pattern right here on the wall you see those type of screws and squares right there right how it all kind of lines up very similar to what we see right here right the similar type of screws and like the same type of rectangular shape which is obviously a different orientation i think this might be current teal 34 but of course i need to find the health pack which is already difficult enough just to go anywhere that you want to go within the map wait a minute no no it's not, it's not it. it's a horizontal laid uh Right, you know, shape thing. So it's not these health packs. You gotta find something that has horizontally laid uh, like textures, I guess you call them. Panels, if you will. I think set up vertically, though. Is it not gonna be this map? This is on impossible difficulty for a reason. Yeah, I remember we just played this map and just run around with shotguns only, and it was just complete random chaos if you're able to land your shots or just find somebody. So many good memories on this map. 
<gasps> Wait, is this it right over here? It is horizontal. Now you can see in the image on the right of the health pack, it's the side of the health pack. So we're looking at the health pack at like the lower angle of the health pack, if I remember correctly. I think we're getting close. This looks very similar to each other. I just need to be able to find it, man. No, nope, it's not that health pack. Like, how am I supposed to find it, man? It was just like, it's difficult enough just to make your way through this map. to go like, yes, I want to go to this location. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Are we looking? Did we, did we just find it? Did we find the impossible difficulty? Oh, but you see the paneling, right? It's horizontal. It has like that kind of blue coloring right there along the side. I think the right side looks like a flat wall. Dude, I think this is it. If I back up kind of like right to here, I think this might be the angle that we're looking at. Dude, I'm locking in with this health pack, TL34. Did we get the impossible correct? Boom, baby, we got the impossible. And that puts our grand total up to 62 points that we earned, meaning we're at the Master Chief level of knowledge. If you guys made it this far in the video, leave a green heart. Let's see who the real ones are out there. Again, if you wanna see some more content like this, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, what game you guys wanna see next, and uh, catch you on the next one. Peace out.